So over here on the left hand side, you can see that archive is an option. So whenever you make out posts and then you keep on posting, everything gets archived out and will get listed over here in the archive section. So if I were to go around and click on archive, you can see that uh, May 2023 is uh, listed out. And if I were to go around and then click right here, then I see all of the posts from me right here. Just like this. There's four posts in May, as you can see. If I were to go around over here and make a new post, so let's just go around over here and apply, uh, let's say, for example, publish out this post right here and untitled post, publish this out, this out, this out, and this out right here, just like this. Let's see what happens. If I were to go around and refresh out now, now you got uh, eight posts in me. Uh, because uh, some of them I had saved in May and you got one post in Zoom right here. And uh, these are blank posts, but you can see that under archive, everything starts getting collected automatically. So over here, if I were to go around onto the layout section, then you can see that the archive is here. The blog archive is on the sidebar on the bottom hand side. And that is why you see it right here. But let me just go around and do this. Click on edit right here. And now you can see that you can actually change around quite, um, uh, quite, quite a bunch of settings for this archive. First of all, you can go around and disable out this archive entirely, uh, which uh, just hides out this archive right here. But what you can do is you can make some changes to it. So you can see that there's flat list right here. But let's say I want to turn it into a drop down list, then you can do that as well. I'm going to go around and say past posts right here as title. And over here, you can see that I'm going to show all this post first. And let's say the archive frequency will be on a weekly basis right here. And it will be in uh, shown in this format right here. I can go around and do that and turn the widget back on. Hit the save button. And once I do that, if I were to refresh this out now, then what happens is that you can see that the past posts are on a weekly basis, as you can see right here from May 14 to 21 and May 28 to June 4, just like this. And that is how it is divided. So let me just go around on to passport and uh, pass uh, uh, post and change it into hierarchy, let's say, for example, and I'm going to go around over here. And then let's say, for example, keep this as it is and hit the save button, refresh this out over here. And you can see the hierarchy of the post along with everything. As you can see, you can go around and then expand this. You can go around onto individual posts right here under past posts. You can go around over here again and set it out on the uh, archive frequency to be daily as well. You can change around the format if you want to. And now you can see that it will be done on a daily basis with different dates over here, as you can see. And that is how you can go around and then utilize the blog archive gadget, change around its format and then uh, just simply turn it off as well as you like. Uh, uh, so hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.